Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing the various histological subtypes of Hodgkin's lymphoma. So, Hodgkin's lymphoma traditionally has been described into two major histological subtypes. The first is the classical Hodgkin's lymphoma and the second is the nodular lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin's lymphoma. These two subtypes are different immuno uh, IHC wise also. Uh, the classical Hodgkin lymphoma typically is CD15 and 30 positive, while it's CD20 negative, while the NLPHL, that is the lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin lymphoma, or the non-classical variant of Hodgkin lymphoma is CD20 positive, but CD15 and 30 negative. The classical variant of Hodgkin lymphoma is further uh, has four subtypes of histological variants which are the nodular sclerosis, mixillularity, lymphocyte rich and lymphocyte depleted. In order to understand this histopathological classification, histopathological classification of Hodgkin's lymphoma, it's, uh, it's actually very simple. What we need to understand what Hodgkin's lymphoma's malignant cell is. So in Hodgkin's lymphoma, the malignant cells, the cell which derives, uh, drives the malignancy is a reed steinberg cell. And as we all know, the reed steinberg cells is typically uh, said to have an owl's eye appearance. This reed steinberg cells then drives a lot of infl uh, an inflammatory infiltrates into the lymph nodes. So these reed steinberg cells, they are present in the lymph nodes and through various cytokines, they drive an inflammatory mixture. And depending upon the type of this inflammatory mixture, you have multiple subtypes which can be which can be nodular sclerosis, which can be mixillarity, which can be lymphocyte rich or depleted. So this is how a reed steinberg cell cell looks. This is a classical image that can be given to you in any uh, image based question. So this is how the owl's eye nucleus is looking. So basically this is this this in this entire cell is a reed steinberg cell. It is the reed steinberg or the RS cell. And as you can see, it has two bilobed nucleus and two large nuclei. And if you look together, these, this appears as if like it's an owl. That's why uh, this is called as the uh, owl's eye appearance of the owl's eye nucleus. So this is the nucleus and these are the two large nuclei that are present there. These nuclei are so large that they are actually, as you can see, approaching the size of small lymphocytes that are present in the infiltrate, uh, infl uh, inflammatory infiltrate around the reed steinberg cell. So this is the classical reed steinberg cells. Now we'll discuss the various histological subtype first of the, the classical variant. The classical variant, the first subtype, logical subtype that I described was the nodular sclerosis variant. Now, why is it called nodular sclerosis? It's called nodular sclerosis simply because when you look at it through the microscope of the lymph node, uh, biopsy of the lymph node, you will see multiple nodules. The lymphocytes have aggregated to form multiple nodules and they are multiple collagenous bands which are present between these nodules. So you will have a reed steinberg cell here, reed steinberg cell here, reed steinberg cell here, a diffuse infiltrate that would be present around these reed steinberg cells and they will form a nodule and then nodules will be divided into multiple, uh, these nodules are the further differentiated in the form of multiple bands, these are collagenous bands. Now, uh, that's how, that's why it's called nodular sclerosis as the name suggests because nodules are present and because sclerosis in the form of let's say the collagenous bands is present as when you look histologically. The characteristic reed steinberg cell is present in paucity as far as nodular sclerosis is concerned. In fact, what we have is instead a lacunar cells. Now, what are lacunar cells? As you can see in this particular image, these are the reed steinberg cells. Again, you can see a large nucleus, a large nucleus and a large nucleoli. But because of the histological subsection and the sectioning, it appears as it is present in a lacunar, an empty or hollowed out, empty hollowed out space. And these cells, this lacuna around in which this nucleus is placed is called the lacunar cell and the lacunar variant of the uh, reed steinberg cell. The inflammatory, like I said, the reed steinberg cell, this drives, it's a malignant cell and it, this drives the malignancy and it causes a lot of infiltrates, inflammatory infiltrates. This inflama inflammatory infiltrates, the, the characteristic of this inflammatory uh, infiltrate then makes what are the various subtypes of Hodgkin lymphoma. In case of nodular sclerosis, there is a diffuse infiltrate which can consist of uh, which can consist of lymphocytes, which can consist of eosinophils, which can consist of plasma cells. 
uh this variant is not associated not usually associated with ebv pos- uh epstein barr virus so it's usually ebv negative since it's the classical variant of hodgkin's lymphoma it's cd15 30 positive but cd20 negative uh males are equal to female and as uh, we have to remember in the western nations nodal sclerosis is the most common subtype accounting for around 70% of the cases now let's have a look at the mixed cellularity as the name suggests mixed cellularity in mixed cellularity the infiltrate So you'll have a Reed Steinberg cell, and this Reed Steinberg cell will cause an infiltrate to come. Will cause multiple cells to come. This infiltrate will be mixed cellular, so it will have basically all types of cell. There will be eosinophil, there will be lymphocytes, there will be plasma cells. That's why it's called mixed cellularity. In mixed cellularity, also you might see a vague nod- nod- nodularity, a vague nodularity. But remember, unlike nodular sclerosis, the bands, the collagenous bands dividing these nodules are not present if a collagen band is present then it will automatically will become nodular sclerosis and it won't remain mixed cellularity but if there are just nodules but no bands and a mixed infiltrate of eosinophil lymphocyte and plasma cells then it's called mixed cellularity here it's moles are more common than females uh it's around in 70% of the cases ebv is positive now like i said in the mixed cellularity and both in mixed cellularity and both nodular sclerosis the the inflammatory uh, infiltrate consisted of a mixed one picture plasma cells were present eosinophils were present lymphocytes were present but in the two next two variants that i'm going to discuss they are the lymphocyte depleted and the lymphocyte rich in the lymphocyte rich the infiltrate is predominantly as the name suggests lymphocyte only you will mostly see lymphocytes only eosinophils and plasma cells are either not seen or they are very rare it is also ebv positive in around 40% of the cases males are more affected as compared to females in the lymphocyte depleted one uh what information that we have to as the name suggests lymphocytes won't be seen what will you will in fact see there will be a paucity of cells in fact what you will see more is na- necrosis it will have the maximum necrosis as far as all the histological subtypes is concerned there will be fibrosis there will be reticular fibrosis but it is around single cell it's not around a group of cells or a node if this fibrosis or if this collagen bands are present around a group of nodes then it will automatically become nodular sclerosis but here it is present around single cells not a group of cells it's maximally associated with ebv 90% are positive it's also associated with hiv and of all variants it has the worst prognosis this thing has been asked multiple times you have to remember that nodular sc- amongst the classical variants lymphocyte depleted has the worst prognosis and among all the histological subtype it has the worst prognosis uh a thing in general in general classical hodgkin lymphoma has a worse prognosis as compared to nphl or the non classical variant or the non uh, nodular lymphocyte predominant hodgkin lymphoma the last is a nodular lymphocyte predominant hodgkin lymphoma again here as you can see in this case the inf- the inflammatory mixture will be it will be composed of does the name suggest lymphocyte predominance lymphocytes will be the predominant mixture here the classical auli rs cells they won't be present rather a variant will be present uh, which is the popcorn cells or the lnh cells as you can see in this popcorn cells the nucleus is either multi lobulated or it will folded and this is giving the appearance of a popcorn when the popcorn pops as you can see the popcorn has an appearance like this so that's why these cells are also known as called as popcorn cells this is cd20 positive the non classical hodgkin lymphoma or the nodal lymphocyte predominant hodgkin lymphoma is cd20 positive but it is cd15 and 30 negative it has the best prognosis it has the best prognosis the prognosis is better than that of classical hodgkin lymphoma just a review of what we have learned through this one that nodal sclerosis you will have uh, rs cells occasionally they are rare but lackner cells the lackner variant is more common uh, the infiltrate is essentially a mixed infiltrate of lymphocyte eosinophil macrophages plasma cells the characteristic feature is that they are fibrous collagenous band dividing into nodules hence the name nodular sclerosis cd15 and 30 positive in mixed cellularity similar to nodular sclerosis it is cd15 and 30 positive the background infiltrate is again as the name suggests mixed it's positive 70% cases positive way as far as ebv is concerned lymphocyte rich again 40% ebv positive uh cd15 and cd30 cell cd15 and cd30 is positive mostly it has lymphocyte as the background eosinophils are 
rare in lymphocyte depletion lymphocytes itself are depleted and in fact it has the maximum necrosis and this has the worst prognosis and this is the only variant which is associated with hiv the lymphocyte predominance one has the popcorn cells it is cd20 positive but cd15 and 30 negative this concludes our discussion of the histological subtypes of hodgkin lymphoma in the next video i'll be discussing the various mcqs that have been asked in previous year questions about the various histological subtypes of hodgkin lymphoma thank you